Mm -mm. Good morning. It's Friday. And uh, yeah, the last stream for this week. That's going to be the Banner Saga. Uh, I chose to start one hour later today because we're going to be going for a uh, six hour stream, I think. With a break um, around 11 o'clock UTC for, for some lunch, so a 30 minute lunch break. So I thought, why not go three hours, have a lunch break, and then come back for around three hours. So maybe that will be actually the type of schedule I will be running in the future. It's always nice to have a different game on Fridays to end the week, um, for me at least, to, to get some um, variation on the stream. So uh, yeah, we'll see. <clears throat> we'll see about how I'll go about this, but uh, thinking maybe I'll make this kind of a regular morning starfu. So, uh, last time we played the Banner Saga, we had a power outage and we lost all the progress, so let's hope we don't end up in that pickle again. And uh, yeah, now we have some really difficult battles ahead of us, so yeah, let's resume and see. Dread grips me as we approach Grofheim. None of us expected to see a city unscathed. But what we find steals the very breath from my lungs. Once again, into the breach. Uh, is this really necessary? Stuck outside the city walls, you've been fighting against the dredge when you have to, moving between hiding spots when you can. If we do nothing, the people in there are going to die. Crouched near a building you know has survivors hiding inside. Dredge are making quick work of the walls. Can't keep throwing ourselves at any dredge that wander near these damn refugees. We are already here. Yep, and I'm gonna go with the same choices. I'm not going to change up what I've been doing. So what choice do we have? Leave. Get the caravan and go. Right now. Lose all that renown. <laughs> Not yet. We need to help here. Ivor growls, but leads the charge, bowling over the nearest dredge and taunting the rest. Come on, you stony bastards. Nothing else I'd rather be doing right now. Replaying this battle. So... Uh, 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 let me think, was there anything wrong with uh, this composition before? Not really. Oh, 
odd life was useful in the sense that we could actually stop advancing enemies. Yeah, thanks. Trigg is a lot better in that he actually does some damage to them. Yeah, we're gonna try it the same way. So let's see if the battle is actually exactly the same or if we get like a randomized enemy spawn. Even worse, maybe. I don't remember actually. 12, 18, wow. Yeah. You know what? I don't even remember the battles uh, last time. But uh, this is, of course, horrible. 2, 18 strength enemies and 1, 15 strength. <laughs> Was there anything wrong with this composition? There's too few Varl. Yes, that is the problem with our Eastern party. They have too few Varl. Uh... So, since I don't remember the last battle, I'm going to have to think about everything again. Obviously, we need the Varl in the center to deal with these guys. Come on, one of the squares has to be. Okay. Hmm. Then we have uh, Hogan and Mogan. We can kind of help out. down as quick as possible. Maybe it's just better to put everyone here so they will actually clump up a bit more. This looks a bit close though. Ah, we'll have to see. Um, Did it before I should be able to do it again. Okay, he can't rush in. You can actually rest and gain willpower. Uh, which order do we have these dudes in? could actually run up. Ok, 
Okay. Well, we're gonna rest, gain some willpower, I think. I think we want to rest, gain some willpower. I assume the last time you played this was on stream, yes. Uh, I don't do any gaming off stream. The stream is my gaming life now. If I do any... If I do activate any games uh, off stream, it's... Uh, for testing purposes or for uh, configuring the stream. Uh, yeah, that's just rest. If that is the case, I hope you do not suffer too much from rustiness. Well, we'll see. We'll find out very soon, I think. Uh, I did have a nice... Uh, ...couple of sessions there. With the banner saga. So we had a nice uh, string of sessions, so I guess I was kind of... ...more prepared last time. Move out of his range into his range. No, actually, no. We can just move Mogan and he won't be in range. Cool. He can't reach us. So how far do we have to move in order to shoot them? Pretty damn far. Far enough to be in the range. Of course. Start getting shots off immediately, I think. We could move everyone to this side and smash him first. Ah, oh, but these 18 strength dudes are the real problem, they can just one shot uh, my, my entire squad. You have to do something. Do something early. But let's say I move up here, he can move into range on his next turn, which is... 
there. He can move into range after Hogan and Morgan has moved. Now I think the right choice is to wait until the next round to shoot. Shoot him and instead maybe we should target down this dude here. Or him. But if I move here, once again we'll be in range. Don't remember how I did last time. Oh yeah. Bonus damage to targets who have lost armor if the archer has not moved. That is pretty critical. I forgot about that skill last time we fought this battle. So what we should do is we should plant her here damage the armor of the enemies and then let her do bonus damage. Or if she can move out on the flank and use her thread the needle and hit all the units between the archer and the target in a straight line. But that is a bit more difficult to do than just planting her and actually, yeah. Okay, so... How far can you move? Okay, so this is the way where we want to be. Shoot from there as well. Maybe she should be there. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, what can we do? Start breaking down this dude's armor. So, she can move there and shoot. Only two armor damage though, so... Not the best, but what can we do? Good choice. He doesn't move his entire move movement allotment. But next turn he can charge in. So I think we want to take this uh, this contingent on now. So if we move. Battering ram. Knock adjacent unit up to four tiles for one armor damage. Mm. Guess I'm gonna get double attacked uh, next turn by these dudes then. If I move up here. Still better than being double attacked by those two, so I think we're gonna have to do it. Move up here. He will get a shot off. Or we let Hogan and Mogan take care of him. They could take his armor down pretty easily and Trig we could actually. Deal some nice damage to him. But we can't reach him actually, so let's just do it. The way we originally intended. Uh, 
four armor damage. Allowing... Decent damage. Or three strength damage. about I think four armor damage is enough to save our willpower yeah he attacks for two armor damage oh yeah he's a shield banger so he gets uh, some damage back there nice Okay, a left. Gets to move before this dude. Nice. So we could move up here and smash him. Which is what we're going to do. Use some willpower there. Uh, reinforce his armor and then. Attacks at plus one strength or armor. Last hit adds plus one for each adjacent ally. Actually, we're gonna try the special attack and see what, uh, what that does for us. Because we still have backup anyway, right? Yeah. Try it. So Trigby is actually safe there, so he doesn't have to move even. have to move up here though or we could move and actually hmm. and we could go for him try to take him down a bit because trig we can deal with this dude easily enough Let's do that. Let's put a beating on this grunt here. Three armor damage or flail at them, which seems to be a better, better way of using our willpower there. So regardless of what we do, I guess, uh, uh, this dude will be a problem. get to no we don't get to move Trigby before him actually so we have to think about this mm. on the next round he 
can easily move up here and attack. 18 damage. That's no good. But we could run over here. Trygvi and attack diagonally. I don't think he can reach us from there. So we're gonna use his mobility. Uh, we could kill him, but that doesn't really accomplish anything. Uh, except give these dudes more turns. So let's just uh, maim him for... 9 damage. Nice, he goes like an idiot and blocks. Now, Rook. In order to shoot, you have to move into range. Stand here on the diagonal and shoot. Still in range. No, actually, we're not in range. They can't attack diagonally. None of them can. Hmm. That's uh, an option. I hope I didn't misjudge this now. Kind of have to deal with him because he's gonna go for us. Actually, if he moves up here, damn. Uh, I did misjudge it. That's crappy. Sorry, Rook. My apologies. My bad. My bad. could actually keep planted here and shoot right now she's dead if she does that or rook is dead regardless she can only do three damage to him damage would mean that he can't one shot any rook or a left but still wow really crappy A little bit rusty, unfortunately, yeah. He will move on that turn. Let's just say... wait... 
to start damaging these these dudes. I guess I could run up and block. He could move and attack a left or actually uh, attack Rook. Don't have much of an option. We're gonna have to have Ivor tank for us a bit. turn. This move, his brother's move, and then this dude is gonna do five damage to Ivor. He's gonna do 5 damage to Ivor. I have to live with that. Uh, that's why we put him here. So what's the best option for me? Spending 1 will point and getting 4. Armor or strength damage done. That's pretty good. We could go and attack him now. Of make him useless. So, yeah. Okay. Ouch. Now, Trigvi will have to be a very brave lad and run in here. Damage his armor. As much as he can, which means four points of damage.
Nice chain reaction. So, yeah, that was pretty good. So now the armor here is down. That guy is pretty much harmless. This guy is... Mm, not so dangerous. You should use Ivor to finish... Not finish him off, but... To further injure this... Uh, soldier or warrior here. You'll get the move. Hogan will get the move. Hmm. He moves first. Ah, he gets the move before Trigvi. So then we should actually injure him a bit more. I guess. Or I can mark him for attack. remember how Mark Prey worked. Uh, one armor damage and all allies within range automatically attack the target. It's not a I think that's a free attack, I'm pretty sure. But otherwise, what could we do? We could do three armor damage to him. Which would mean that Ivor could bring his... Damage down to... what? 14, which is still pretty high. Now we're gonna have to keep... Uh, Attacking this dude. Really need to bring his uh, health down or strength. So hopefully get a chain reaction there. Nice. Deflect. Ooh, yeah, nice. Uh, Alette can actually get a really nice sniper shot off here since she's. Yeah, it's looking pretty good, I think. Uh, it's going a little bit different than last time, but... Alette can actually... Hit, hit him for a lot of damage. Since he lost armor. Nice. Let's do that. Nine damage. Sounds about right. I never used that ability last time. Ooh, he goes to summon. I'll have to put an end to that. So, now he is, uh, only has 9 strength. deal with these two. Ivor should definitely go for him. Five damage or four damage. Save some willpower just in case.
kill him or... It's way long. You. Ooh. Took his uh, armor down. So we could go and kill him actually. What happens if we do kill this guy? Okay. He will get a move before Ivor. But we don't really have much else to do, do we? to start clearing up uh, the grunts. Okay, and he moves out. Hmm. So, Trygvi. Trygvi should probably move here and Ooh, we can't kill him, can we? Damn summoners. He gets some more rook guts to do something. So he's the first one, we have to kill him first. Kill him with uh, with uh, Trigvi, but then we're gonna get 15 damage to the face. It's never a good thing. You will move on. Oh, that doesn't matter. No, we don't have that much choice. Uh, gonna have to do six damage to him. I use some willpower. That should be able to finish him off then. Hey, why do you have the banners off? Banners? Have I missed something? Uh oh. Well, he actually blocks him, so that's nice. Click tab they appear. Oh, you mean the. Uh -huh -huh. Yeah, I know. I can do that if it, if it helps you. <laughs> I guess it's easier for me to remember since uh, I'm playing. Man, I really like to get a shot off at him. We're not gonna be able to kill him before he summons now. In that case, maybe we should start working on his armor instead. It's 
Some also the button on the top right of the screen. Ah, okay, yeah. Got it. <laughs> I thought it'd be easier to watch that way, yes. Yep, I think you're right. Yeah, I kind of remember where the enemies, uh, what strength they have, but I was actually using it. Uh, I took a break playing, uh, I was playing last week. And then I played these two battles, really pretty tough battles, and then I had a power outage and I lost my progress, so I couldn't really bring myself to, to replay the battles on the same day, so... But, yeah, we should really be starting to pay some attention to this guy, I think. Two armor damage. Better than nothing. Oh, yeah. Pro deflect. He's the next, yeah. So let's kill him. That means he will get the turn, but he's actually kind of blocked. I like that the AI is actually blocking each, uh, each other. It's not so smart. It's out a lot. Hmm. I'm not gonna get to him before he summons. Could go up and smash him, which means he will get another turn. That won't really change anything, will it? Will make it easier for him to come into range. Actually, let's just move up here, I think. I don't know where the summon will appear either, so... Kill him, he will get... Ooh, he will get... No, he will get the move, okay, that's fine. Oh, okay, wait, he gets the move first. In that case, he will get the move. Hmm, he will get the move before Rook in that case, that's no good. Then this guy. Then this dude. So we can't kill anyone. Coming from the free multiplayer version of the game, I'm simply wondering if the single player is as good as they say. I think people have been a bit split, I guess. Uh, yeah, the music is really good. Uh, the music is... Uh, I don't remember his name, but it's the composer made the music for Journey. So... Uh, Production is really top-notch, and if you like uh, like 2D animated Disney graphics, it's really nice. I'm enjoying the story also. And if you've been playing the free multiplayer version, I guess you're used to the turn-based system, so... Unlike me. You're constantly getting screwed over by, by the enemy getting free turns. <laughs> But yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Being screwed over. Hmm. So what are we gonna do with these guys? Are we gonna... Maybe we're gonna reposition actually, we're gonna move away. It's silly, but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's not that easy to get used to. No, it's a uh, very counterintuitive. Uh, I mean, it's uh, 
It's definitely a workable like uh, gameplay model, a game mechanic, but it's just so counterintuitive that it takes uh, at least 10 hours to, to get used to it. I'm definitely planning for it now, but... Four. So, yeah, we're gonna finish him off. Ah, we'll see. We're kind of going for round two here. Uh, planning for the next phase of the battle. Okay. He will move, then him. So we could kill him without disrupting. He doesn't have any attacks, so why kill him? Why not? Hmm. Ah, we could actually just run diagonally here and stab him. So, Rook gets another shot. Oh, we can't... Oh, damn you. Damn you! Why do you call it ranged weapons when it has no range? So we have to move over here to get shot off. And if he uses willpower he can definitely get into range on his turn. 15 damage, that would mean Rook goes down. On the other hand we really need to do some armor damage. Uh, Phase. Or we just wait for him to get in range, actually, why not? He can't uh, hurt anyone else, so why? Let's be patient, let's. Let's be patient. Let's move back here. Very patient. So, a left. What can you do, my dear? You could move up here. Okay, he can actually go and attack Trigvi, I guess. We can't kill anyone, that's the problem. The game won't allow us. Yeah, let's just say we move up here and shoot him for armor damage. What happens then? We can't get into position with Ivor because he's too much of a... Let's just say that his bulk is not uh, suitable for threading between these uh, enemies. Eight defense. Uh, I'm not sure these uh, Hogan and Mogan won't be able to reach him. So it's better to draw him back here actually. Are we just gonna stand here like an idiot? Maybe we can take... A 
no, we can't, we can't do anything. Damn. So now I don't remember, does rest actually increase willpower or is it like you regain armor? I don't remember what rest does. boxed in, which is perfect, so we could run over here and smash him to pieces, that would accomplish nothing except him getting a move. Ugh. Really nothing I can do. Except rest. So Alet, what did you gain from resting? I think you gained willpower. So we could do that I guess. We're losing armor just because the turn order is no good. the wall here. He'll get the move but he can't reach us. Nice. Okay. It's going around. So now the question is do we rush in and hit him or do we stay back here? Probably much better idea to This two down a few notches. Four, two armor damage or four actual damage. Yeah. Ouch! That was not intended. Armor is getting very low on Ivor. risk of having him run over here and smash our face in. Could attack for up to 5 armor damage. Trouble there. 
2 armor damage or 2 damage. Damn, Ivor. Don't do this to me. He is next. Can't get to... Oh, actually could run for Trigvi, I guess. Let's hope he doesn't do that. Can safely kill him without him being able to do anything. How about a good old-fashioned battering ram? Push him back four squares. I would actually probably block him from attacking Trygvi, so we could do that. But then Hogan and Mogan won't get their shots in. Uh, let's just kill this grunt. Can't get in there, but you can unfortunately kill Rook. But yeah, that was kind of what we expected would happen. So, how to best get this into pillage mode as soon as possible without uh, we're gonna lose Ivor as well. That's the irritating part uh, about the system. Great. Ouch! That was unnecessary. So, rush in and take him down a bit. Four damage, eleven. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, it's just gonna go for a let. So yeah, let's do that. So we're not gonna enter pillage mode until next round here. He is harmless, so it doesn't really matter, does it? We can let him have one turn. To be sure we take him down as much as possible. Five strength. Yeah, we're looking triumphant, but uh, unfortunately Rook and Ivor as usual. We're in the way. Two damage. Finish you finally. 
pillage mode, he starts to summon. Well, let's try to stop him. Almost did it. Trig, we won't be able to make it. The left should be able to finish him off. Later down. Um, now the problem is we're just gonna get more and more fights here. Uh, but I don't have a choice. I can't be the bad guy. Um, this game doesn't reward you for being a good guy, but. Uh, the building has been wrecked, but the people inside are okay. They shower you with thanks and head to the rest house to join your caravan. A mother asks you desperately if you would come with her, where she remembers seeing her son when they were separated. Ivor huffs and stares you down. Show us where. You hurry to follow her. Sure enough, a boy has stranded himself on a rooftop. Dredge mill around below. As you approach, they spot you. So immediately punished. <laughs> Ouch. Minus three strength. That's horrible. So uh, yeah, we're gonna take this next next battle on. Uh, I'm just gonna have a quick quick breather. So I'll be right back. So like uh, two, three minutes. I'll be back. Man, I don't want my only Varl to be injured. Uh, that's never a good idea. But uh, what can we do? Replace Rook with Oblave, no. And if I remember correctly from the session that we lost, this battle is just going to be harder. Hmm, yeah. So at least they don't have any 18 strength guys, but... Uh, not the kind of composition we want to be up against. This dude has to be focused down. So hopefully they will kind of, you know, get in a nice little line here and we can... Uh, do a nice chain reaction on their armor. 10 attack, that's not no good either. Uh, we'll see. So they will not be able to, <coughs> to reach us on the first uh, first attempt, at least. I 
don't actually want to clear. Hmm. And do you move? You move. Oh, you move last. Interesting. case maybe maybe we should move up them rearrange your face first Precious willpower, uh, but yeah. nice enough to block him. Though not completely, so... Do we run up and smash him for 5 points? like using all that willpower for for movement hmm Some nice armor damage, I think. Should create a chain reaction at least. Would have been even nicer to have more of them in the vicinity, but. is going to move before him. Hogan Mogan. That will do. 
I will do actually, so let's do like this. Okay, you have to move first. Move there. Then you'll attack him for armor damage. Let's do a max armor damage, why not? Why not? Then Alette can actually... Oh, she can't hurt him that badly. Well, Alette will do damage to him then. Six damage is pretty good. What? Didn't do anything? So, do we kill this dude or do we... Hmm. Start running back. Kill this dude. So we have our backs free at least. Allow him to move, but that doesn't hurt us. So, okay. Go. He will move and get. No! We're supposed to walk there and be in a nice line. Spread out here. And you move, you move next. Always oh, that guy will get his move, okay. That's not good. So we should do some damage to him if we can. Could do three armor damage or flail at him. I'm gonna choose to flail at him. Because that will take down his attack strength, and then he won't really be able to hurt me that bad. Two armor damage.
So we can make him a bit useless by hurting him like that, I guess. Now we're gonna have to deal with uh, high attack strength, dude. She gets to move next, so we should damage his armor as much as possible here. So Let can actually do 4 damage straight up now, which means she should be able to do even more Extra damage, but yeah, that's enough. I'm pretty satisfied with that. He will move up and hit Trigli, of course. Kind of expected as much. So now we can engage him here and flail away. being spread a bit thin here. Don't really have that much of a choice here though. his armor because that's what Ivor does. Uh -oh. So Trigvi, you can actually move here and uh, still attack. Could have caused bleeding, I guess. Five attack, that's not so good. Ouch. armor is still okay. Minus one willpower. No! Don't do it! Don't change the status quo. This battle. We hit him, yeah. What happens if I mark you? If I walk up to you and mark you? Will they both attack you then? They should. Let's try it, I mean. I think we didn't attack for some reason. Which kind of sucks. Okay. 
Okay, yeah, we're getting some face smash in, but it's okay. This guy's a bit worrisome, but the rest of them are actually down to very low stats already. Don't have any willpower for Mogan. Hmm. Ivor won't be able to make it all the way back. Okay. One summoner. So we're gonna have to take him out with a ranged attack. <laughs> At least none of them have the face punch attack. Yeah. Yeah, no Dark Souls attacks in this game. Uh, that's that's nice. Seven attack, yeah. Gonna do some damage, but can't be helped. Ooh. So, do we run up? Kill him. Oh, it's Trigvi, actually. He could still run up and kill him. Because his Trigvi is a good move. Defense. Yeah, should be okay. Yeah, why not? Just to prove that you're never safe from Trigby. Ouch. Ooh, the effect. Nice. So I think we actually sold this pretty well. Next move. I would like a diagonal thread the needle so I could shoot all these three enemies uh, in one go. That would be nice. Probably not gonna happen. Uh, okay, so let's move over here then and uh, take down some armor. Oh, Trigby, no. He is completely useless, so let's go for this dude. Everybody's attacking Trigvi. Whoa, okay. Think of your friends. Oh, 
now he doesn't have any friends anymore. Oh, don't tell me you're a summoner, no. Okay, so maybe it's actually time to go into pillage mode and start wrecking. damage for no reason. Um, Trigvi, what's up with you? Maybe you should get the hell out of there actually. Can you follow me all the way? Yes, you could potentially, but... Let the uninjured uh, handle this battle. Both of them. Actually, maybe we can kill both of them. We could, no, we can't run on the side, otherwise, we could have gotten a nice stylish thread the needle on both of them for the double kill, but. Hogan is unfortunately blocking the way, so. Sorry, no double kill available. No, don't do it! Oof. One damage. Nice. Nice. So now we get to the real problem. There is actually a third battle coming up. <laughs> That's just as hard. Uh, and my squad is really, really getting low. Uh, with tears in her eyes, the woman hugs her son and joins you on the way back to the rest house. Along with several other people who were hiding here. And now it comes. Here we go. In the distance, you think you hear shouts. From further up on the hill, a group of people saw you fighting the dredge and are calling to you. Nobody else seems to have noticed. So, you know, Rook is a really nice guy. He would never uh, pretend that he didn't hear anything. So we're, I <laughs> uh, we're in for another battle. And this time, if we do it the same way we did last time, uh, when we had the power outage, we're gonna lose Ivor as well, so we're not gonna have him for the battle. Ugh. Head in their direction. Fingers crossed for no power outage, yes. Sorry, Ivor, you say, heading towards the shouts. His irritation is palpable. You find a group of people around a pile of rubble and a dead dredge. There's a man under there, they tell you, but they haven't been able to move the massive stones. All eyes turn toward the Varl. You can do this, Ivor. If you didn't know Ivor so well, you'd find him quite terrifying right now. It looks like he's about to lose it. Still, he bends and begins to hoist the crumbling wall on his shoulders, grunting under the exertion. You hear a shriek behind you and see approaching dredge. Thanks. Thanks, game. So, now we can't use Ivor because he has uh, a crumbling wall on his back. So, we're gonna have to use 
Old life. Uh. Right. So this is where we had the power outage last, last time. The battle was going... Yeah, I don't know. It was going okay, I guess, but... Man. Actually, this is a bit different setup from last time, I think. Yep, different battle layout. Same enemies, I think. Ooh, 18. Nice. So we have to think about this. What can we do? These dudes are just gonna run around like idiots. I don't think, I don't know, I'm not even sure it's the same enemies. We did have the slingers. I don't remember. 18 attack, I don't like it. It's a one shot. Have to quickly bring him down. How far can he move? can uh, put some nice uh, arrow trap here, hopefully. <laughs> oh damn, I forgot we had no Varl in this fight, yeah. Now we have a, a Siege Archer instead of the Varl, great. Actually, maybe she can be useful this, this time. Willpower, you know, these guys are insane. Inferno Slinger. So whatever we do, we have to get uh, his 18 attack down. That's uh, our priority. That's so hard to deal with. This slinger gets the move. Nice. He gets the move, which actually means he will move and block them a bit. Good. This guy actually moves last. Nice. Woo! Blind slinger. Well, we ho sure hope so. Let's rest for that extra willpower. Can move up. We'll actually do the same again, I think. We'll rest for extra willpower. And we'll see what he does doesn't use willpower. are in a bit of the wrong place. Trygvi. 
Trigby is very useful, spearmen are very useful for taking out slingers because you can use the impale ability and the slingers will just bleed out pretty quickly. Now you know what, we're gonna rest with you as well because we need that extra willpower. Let's see what he does. Uh oh. No! Don't do it. Now I don't know if these are um, proximity effects. Or if it's just these stones, or these uh, squares. I'm gonna assume that it's a proximity effect, so I'm gonna move my soldiers, my warriors over here, I think. Oh, we need a rain of arrows, but where? Could move her over here. Put the rain of arrows here somewhere. There, maybe. There. So Rook, Rook can start chipping away at this dude. I'm gonna have to have Trigvi run out and impale these other slingers. Two armor damage, that's useless. Can't you do anything else, Alette? Like, uh. No. It's gonna have to be it. Now he moves, okay. So I think what we are going to do is... Yeah, wait, he can't really get to us if we run up. We're gonna run up here and we are going to uh, flail this guy. I don't know if it's proximity damage, that's the problem. If I knew if it was proximity damage or not, so I, I could walk up here. But now I'm not so sure I dare to do that. If it has a proximity effect, then... Um In order to get an impale, Trigby would have to move up right in front of this, these dudes. Like here, and then impale them. That's not so good.
Let's just move here and... Do some decent regular damage. That'll have to do. Okay, now. Maybe there's no proximity damage. Ouch! Little prick. So what can we do? We can harass these slingers with her, I guess. She's kind of keeping them out here also, so that's pretty useful. Ninety percent chance. He'll move back. So what about Rook? What are we going to do with Rook? could move up. Hmm. If he moves... No, he won't be able to reach us anyway, so okay. Let's move up here. you let let can finish this guy off That would kind of leave us open, but on the other hand, we have to bait this guy in. Into range. So, actually, let's just finish him off. He'll get his next turn anyway. We can just put the rain of arrows just in front here. It's actually not in that good a position. So we can just rest. Ignore the slingers for now. Yeah, yeah. Can't reach them anyway, so rest. He will get the move. Uh oh, damn you. Could, yeah, I guess I could impale this dude as well. Here and impale this slinger, then we are kind of in a world of hurt. But I 
I guess we could. Hmm. Knock back one tile. Target bleeds one strength per move on next turn, which would mean kind of sacrificing Trigby for for bleeding him out because he has to get into range. Ah, uh, wait, it's only on next turn, right? He won't move that far, so okay. Either kill one of the slingers uh, and sacrifice Trigby. No, I think Trigby is too useful. Either I keep harassing this uh, slinger or I start picking away at his armor here. there actually well we made our decision so it's not much much to do no we won't reach us especially not since he's gonna get an arrow to the face there Left, where do you have to move? You can actually move up here and start taking out his armor a bit. So we are. Odd life will actually f protect us. Two armor break is not that good. <laughs> I do not like the word sacrifice. No, it's... Uh... Unfortunate, but uh, sometimes necessary. Actually, I could. <clears throat> I could actually start wailing away at this guy uh, with two of my. Hmm. I think we're gonna do that now. I think it's time. Had a proximity effect. God damn it. Why wasn't I told? So now when the time is right. Trig we can still just run up here. No, actually Trig we could. Hmm. 
15 attack, yeah. Hello. We're gonna have to live with this uh, slinger dude here. Uh oh. He gets to move that soon, now. Huh? I thought he had a turn later. In that case, we have to move up and uh, put the hurt on him. Don't have a choice. I actually deal 5 damage to him, so 9. That makes him a lot more manageable. Ooh, damn you, Slinger. She's gonna be in range, <clears throat> no matter what we do, basically. Only thing we could do is to put uh, a delaying arrow here. Which is probably what we're gonna do. He's a summoner, great. Wonderful. So we have to stop him from doing more damage. That's uh, there's nothing else to it. Summoner, huh? Sunstruck, no exertion for one turn. That's what he did. This should stop him. Hopefully. We can move here and attack him actually for armor. didn't. Well, he's gonna walk into that arrow no matter what, so um, we could just move up to him. And we can try to finish him off. Ooh, two attack. I didn't see that. We can still flail. Nice. Enjoy your interrupted turn, sir. So, 
six. We can't quite kill him, can we? But Trig we could. On the next turn. On his move. Then we are in a bit of a trouble there, yeah. Well, what can we do? Ugh. Not lift's just gonna keep him busy again, so... Yeah, we're gonna have to kill him. Ah, proximity. Damn you. I can't reach him from anywhere else without exposing myself to attack there. I guess he could just walk over here, you know. Oh, we're gonna have to deal with it. Don't want any more... Um, more of them joining the fight, so... Uh, What do we want to do? I think our priority is to see to it that it doesn't charge us. And, uh, we'll see to that by putting an arrow there. Which should give us protection. We could run up here. Attack his armor. Nice. So now he is a bit vulnerable. Left because he lost armor. She can do five damage. That slinger is a nuisance, really, but actually, that slinger is more dangerous now, so maybe we should. Or actually, let Trigby deal with him. Run up and kill him. That would unfortunately change the order, so in that case, a let. Ah, yeah, but she doesn't really have any. She doesn't have an interrupt anymore. Odd life doesn't have that. It doesn't matter. Uh, we can just take him out. I think actually that's the best thing we can do. To get some extra willpower to use. What? I can't even see where he threw. Okay it there. Did you? Hmm. Okay. After used extra willpower we just gained in order to have him do an impale. Now we'll see how effective the Impale is, because he's gonna run away and bleed like an idiot. Oh, he starts to summon.
So, shield run here. Do armor break. Just prepping him for uh, deadly damage by left later. Ouch. I think Alette should be able to finish him off if we do even more armor damage down here. In any case, she will be able to finish him off if we do regular damage. Ooh. Oh, I didn't see that one. Troll. So, kill him. Then we are actually down to the last irritating slingers here. So run actually wait. Hoping for more, more damage there. Oh, I should have used save that for impale. Actually, damn, that's stupid. Well, what can you do? What? She can't reach him? Are you serious? Uh. Irritating, really irritating. He's getting free shots off there, so. So, this is why the system is a kind of you know, really irritating turn based system. If you make a little mistake like that, they suddenly get a lot of extra turns because you couldn't enter pillage mode when you intended to. When he runs away. <sighs> Just prep him for a final blow. Since we can't run away, 80% chance. Finally. <laughs> Agreed, the way the turns work is a little flawed. I mean, I've never heard of an army that does more damage, the less soldier it has. Yeah. 
I think the system is kind of developed for uh, the multiplayer. We always wanted to be down to the wire. But um, definitely shows its flaws uh, in the AI battle. A flaw, I don't know. It's just. Even though it works, like mechanically, I can't uh, really endorse it because it's so counterintuitive. And uh, I think uh, intuition is pretty important in games. It has to feel right. This doesn't feel right. This feels like you're uh, being uh, forced to game the system. Keeping enemies alive uh, and so on. Maiming them. And uh, that's, in my opinion, not a good gameplay mechanic uh, if it feels like you're always cheating, you know. Aw, oh, you little. And this, these things can happen. Now at least we're in pillage mode, so... You know what? Uh, should I take a 60% chance or should I use some willpower and uh, flail away? Hope for a hit. Finally. Man, my renown grows and it better grow. I took three battles that I didn't have to. Finally, the refugees are able to pull the body out of the rubble and Ivor lets the heavy wall crash to the ground unceremoniously around them. The man has been long dead and they look on solemnly. For your trouble, an old woman tells you. She puts an odd gold medallion in your hand. Ivor turns and stomps toward the rest house. Anyone else need us to kill some dredge? He bellows as he goes not waiting for you to follow. The refugees follow you on the way back. Thought there was a, more, uh, a lot more of us than this. Surveying the rest house, you're struck by how many wounded and missing clansmen there are. Only going to be less over time. We can't fi keep fighting off Dredge and hope they'll pass. We're not getting in that godforsaken city, I know that. Actually we got in, but we just turned about and went out because they were madmen. The Dredge have all been heading south, that's not an option either. Wormtoes, the only thing that makes sense. They, they won't follow us across the wastes. Wastes. If there's really no other choice, why are you so is insistent about Wyrmto? I know someone there who can help us, if we're lucky. Okay, get everyone up. We're going to make a run for it. With three day supplies. Within a short time you're ready to leave. Please save game. Ooh, we have a market. So we have three day supplies, 530 clansmen and only 71 fighters. Uh, lightning runestone. Powder crushed from unusual rocks. Uh -huh. Northling ways are often used to paint shields, adding to their strength. So we could buy a lot of supplies, or we could upgrade our troops. It's all uh, apparently been a debate over this game because uh, it's not actually necessary to supply your um, your caravan. There is uh, no apparent penalty, it seems, for uh, people starving to death. And uh, since the game actually uh, lets you choose between upgrading your troops, 
heroes. Or um, and buying equipment or buying supplies. It's kind of, yeah. Like game mechanically, it's definitely a good idea to to upgrade and promote your troops. But story, uh, like story-wise, uh, I don't think we'd let people start to death. So we're gonna try to make some kind of compromise. Even though it's not uh, maybe the ooh, that we want to upgrade you. Even though it's not uh, necessary. We're gonna upgrade the let for sure. Really, no moral drop for morale drop for dead people. Well, even if there is a morale drop, uh, the impact on the uh, combat mechanics is pretty low. You lose a few points of will, like one or two willpower. So it's more like a story. I mean, the goal of the game is, of course, to save people. But uh, the only way we see how many people we saved is a little counter that tells us uh, how many clansmen are in the caravan. <laughs> You don't really get to, to, to see the clansmen or uh, interact with them. Improve your ability. Definitely think Alette is becoming very, very useful. I have to think about this. So we can upgrade Mogan and Hogan for 10 points. What would happen? Trigus special ability would improve as well. We really want to upgrade everyone. That would cost a lot of points though. Plus two armor damage. Actually, it's not that big of a deal. Let has lots of willpower, so uh, increasing her exertion is pretty important. Hmm. We haven't upgraded willpower at all. Maybe we should have upgraded willpower all along and we could use it to... No. Also one of the problems in the game mechanics with uh, the ranged weapons is that the ranged weapons are not ranged. Uh, so you have to get into to melee range basically to, to fire ranged weapons, which means in turn that... Uh, even if you could move quick in and out, unless you really manipulate the turns and are very, very lucky with, uh, with the order of combat, uh, you can't really dart in and out. You have to have someone who, uh, some other ally who is in the way of the enemy to, to block them. Otherwise it won't work. We're going to increase your exertion. Let's promote Hogan Mogan. So Mogan's problem is his low armor rating. Let's pump that and some exertion or armor break. We have pretty good armor break with our special.
can promote him even further. So what does the special ability of a Thrasher do at level 5 strikes total? Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty good, I guess. Trigvim. Impale and knockback two spaces. And a knockback doesn't do much either, does it? It's only useful on uh, slingers. Hmm. I think we're gonna keep promoting a let. Now we're running low on supplies or <laughs> low on renown. She has great exertion, uh, lots of willpower. We're not gonna let her get into harm's way that easily, so let's pump her attack. We could easily spend all our all our renown here if we wanted. One renown gets one supply. Are you kidding me? So I could buy 19 supply and I would get 5 days worth of supplies. Instead of two days. Or I could increase armor for uh, two points on one of my fighters. Wow. Now I don't want to game the system, but... Uh, oh, we could also promote Ivor. But he's pretty good as he is. But I do want to check items actually. Can I? Uh, we got some medallion, a gold medallion. What does that do? Plus one will per turn, one armor per turn. Ooh. That's pretty useful. Oops, item level five, wow. That's not gonna happen. Could upgrade Ivor to to level four. <laughs> Damn. What level was that paint for the shield? Uh, level 3. Uh, you know, it just feels completely wrong. I mean, if I get supplies for 5 days... Uh, 
Also, the irony of it, since I uh, I did uh, the good good stuff, saving lots of people, so I got more clansmen. They weren't fighters, so they're completely useless. They just eat up supplies. So I take fights, get more mouths to feed, and then I have to use my renown that I got from the battles to feed them. Hmm. Yeah, this game uh, does not reward you in any way, which is kind of cool. Is kind of cool, but still. I'm gonna be the good guy, I'm gonna buy the supplies. Five days. So, we're gonna move out and hopefully it's going to save my game now so I don't have to redo those battles. Outside the walls, things are a mess. Dredge are everywhere. Fortunately, they're not going around the hill on which Frostweller sits. Heading, uh, fortunately, they're going around the hill on which Frostweller sits, heading south and show little interest in following you into the wastes. Someone else shows interest though. From the gates of Frostweller a group of fighters are running toward you. A cart stacked high with supplies at the rear. You ready yourself for trouble when one of them sh shouts, HOLD! We spied you leaving, says the man in the lead. Name's Onef. These men are loyal to me. We've got no intention of staying in Frostweller, he tells you. But we haven't had any choice before now. Don't care where you're going. We're coming with you. Hmm. Whatever is happening inside the city, it's clear these men are desperate to get out. You're not sure you trust them, but a host of experienced fighters might be worth the risk. What's happening in the city? A bunch of vultures and lunatics, says Onef. Between the families killing each other for control, there's more bloodshed inside the walls than outside. Staying in there is a death sentence. Yeah, man. This is gonna be trouble if I let them join. But on the other hand... I'll let everyone join so far. Let them join. What the heck? We're grateful, says Onef, and we've got enough food to share. He and his fighters join your caravan as you dart into the wastes. You're finally free of Frostwheeler, but find yourself facing new problems. You hope that whoever Ivor knows that Wyrmtoe is willing to help. So we got five days of supply there. Ten renown, thirty supplies. We'll see. I'm sure they won't create any trouble, right? The sounds of a skirmish alert you to a varl surrounded by half a dozen armed fighters. One man spots you and shouts. Leave us to our business. This Varl killed my father without reason. The Varl is about to respond when a man attacks. The giant swats the blade aside and silently watches for the next assault. More hands, more weapons, yeah. Question is wh where those weapons are going to be pointed. Let us hear what the Varl has to say. 
Oddball shrugs as if unconcerned, saying, This one's father and I had a business deal. He lied. Now he's dead. Lies, shouts the man. You murdered him over a lie, you coward. The men wildly attack the varlet, deflects them well enough, but you're uncertain of how long he can keep it up. Uh, I kind of need a varl. At the same time, he killed him over a business deal. Defend the Varl. Ivor, you say. We could use any Varl with a good sword arm, couldn't we? He nods, readying his weapon. The men immediately back off. The prospect of fighting your entire army is suddenly unappealing. Nice. They watch from a distance, shouting obscenities and something about injustice. The Varl turns towards you. Didn't need the help, but if I'm going to travel, it may as well be in the company of other Varl. It falls in line with the others and you return to travel. Actually, Ivor is the only other Varl. Plus one Varl. We didn't even get uh, a hero. That's a problem. Caravan is buzzing with worry. In the distance, someone has spotted a large number of dark figures following you. The Dredge! cries one woman. But something about it tells you they don't quite look like Dredge. Gods be damned, chokes Onef, standing on one of the carts to get a better view. Worse than Dredge. That's Echo. That's the reason we left Frostweller. The news spreads throughout the clansmen like wildfire. Ekel? Why would he? Starts Odleif. Unless he's after you, Onef. He's insane, interjects Onef. And unpredictable. That's a good number of fighters with him. Your mind races considering what to do. Outpace him, dig in for a fight. Try to work things out peacefully with a madman. Honestly, we're gonna dig in for a fight. We're gonna get one anyway. Get ready, you shout, turning the wagons to form a wall. With weapons drawn, you wait. Eventually, you hear a shout on the wind. Onef, my good friend! We come to parley! He throws his weapon on the ground and approaches alone. Why would I believe a word you say? Onef, we were good friends. What happened? Go back to Frostweller. What more do you want? What a pretty girl. Is she yours? I'm glad nothing happened to her. With the dredge, I mean. My friends, how could I forget everything you've done for me? Absolutely nothing. We broke your gate. I think the dialogue tree is a bit broken. Also, it seems like he was supposed to do something to Alette, but since we didn't stay in the city, yeah. Took my live bait. Took my warriors. Took one of my best men. How are you, Onef? Do they treat you well? Shove it up your ass, Echo. If you came out here to kill me, let's get it over with. Nothing like that. You must think you know me, or people like me. What did Onef tell you? I'm crazy? I haven't survived because I'm crazy. I did what I what had to be done to make it in Frostweller. The only mistake I made was you. Sorry, what was your name? Seems like something I should know by now. Rook. What kind of man are you, Rook? You look like an average man to me. A man worried about his daughter, maybe. Just making his way. But then look behind you. 
How many people is that? They follow you? Fight for you? Why? What kind of man are you? I say the kind of does what needs to be done he's gonna try to say well you know we had to ax everyone was uh, a liability in frost weather I'm doing my best like everyone else like everyone else no mm. I'm nobody special oh but you are special you think everyone was born to lead Make hard decisions? Who do these people think you are? You saved them. You're a hero. Maybe that's more important than who you really are. What's your point, Ekel? I'm your prisoner, Rook. Bind my hands. Frostweller is done. I can't survive there thanks to you, my good friends. You may not have cut my throat, but you sentenced us to death. I don't believe that's who you are. Huh? Is this some kind of apology? You can't trust me, I know that. Take me and my men as prisoners, if that's what it takes. Ekel looks down at the ground and the words come slowly to him. I'm not above begging. Take Ekel and his men as prisoners. Kill Ekel on the spot. Abandon them in the wastes. You know, if we were worried about the last lot, this lot is a lot worse. I mean, you can't trust these guys. Ekel's not about begging, but it's not about cutting, like, uh, you know, above cutting my throat either. Ask Owen of his opinion. I'd be a hypocrite if I told you to leave them. I don't know, Rook. You don't know me. How could you trust my word any more than his? I'm behind whatever decision you make. Prisoners, you know, that's the last thing we need. Leaving them in the waste, that's gonna be uh, pretty harsh. But I don't trust that guy for, you know, I didn't stay in the city because. Yeah, he would beg to get close enough to kill us in our sleep. No, we can't do it. We can't take them as prisoners either. They're just gonna escape and try to take over the, the caravan. I'm gonna leave you in the wastes. Things are hard enough as it is. You have your allies gather up the weapons from Ekel's fighters. Wow. I can't take a chance like this. Don't try to follow us. Now you're taking our weapons and leaving us in the wastes? Why didn't you just put a knife in my head the second we met Rook? Do we not even deserve a good death? Let grips your arm tightly. Wait dad, we... we can't do this, they're people, like us. What if our clansmen do start to lose hope and look at you differently? I don't... I don't want to feel that way. Don't become someone who isn't my dad. If that's what you have to do, do it. Please, for me, don't do this. I'll only take them as prisoners. They can join us on our own terms. This is how it has to be. 
God damn it, Alette. Why do you have to get uh, involved in this? Ugh. If I take them as prisoners, they're just gonna break out. I know it. Ugh. Rook is not cold-blooded enough to just leave them when his daughter is begging. God damn it, Alette. You're gonna have to fight the battle for this one, you know. I'll only take them as prisoners. Listen, Echo. We'll keep you alive. But look at one man, woman or child the wrong way and every last one of you gets cut down on the spot. Do you understand? I may be reckless, but I pay my debts. These people are right to follow you, Rook. You're a good man. Look at this trustworthy eye blink there. You have each man's hands bound tightly and their bodies checked for weapons. Making sure no, no mistakes are made. Things are certainly starting to feel complicated. Yeah. So now we have even more clansmen, I guess. Well, you know what? Ooh, the morale. The morale. It's horrible. Um... Let's see, what time is it? We are quickly closing in on lunchtime, so maybe we'll actually, before we get into a battle... Wyrmtow. We have to strike camp here, I think. Oh wait, was that... That kind of looked like... Uh, a goldstone or something. Let's see what Hogan and Mogan has to say. Just take it easy for a while. People are noticing. Oh, they noticed, have they? We're on the edge of dying daily and you want me to take it easy? Gods, I should be plowing twice as many fields. You understand? Don't get us thrown out of this caravan, Mogan. It's not just you who suffers. Right, so you get married, have kids. Now I'm supposed to settle down too, yeah? What happened to two brothers calm as you approach? That's right, I've got a kid to take care of. Cool your head, Mogan. Hogan departs, leaving Mogan looking awkward. Rook, what brings you around? Sorry, it was none of my business. No, but it's no secret. I like women, Rook. They like me. They like the scar. Feh, forget it. Listen, all this, all this death, Every night, half the caravan cries itself to sleep. Pathetic. Come on, Rook, be honest. This is good living. Half the world just tilling soil till they keel over. What kind of life is that? We're lucky. You could go your, uh, go your whole life with no goals, no purpose, nothing to fight against but boredom and hunger. I'm glad for all this. Well, I'm not sure I agree, but on the same time I get what you're saying. But I'm not sure I agree. Look at it like this. We're fighting to the death almost every day, yeah? You can curl up in a little ball of fear. You can go hide in the woods, eating nuts and appreciating leaves or some nonsense. Or you can enjoy the struggle. Know which one I pick. 
Anyway, just so you know, I'd never go for a let. Promise you that. Or Aunt Leif. All yours. Appreciated, Mogan. You depart, unsure whether your opinion of Mogan changed for the better or worse. Well, I don't know. Let's check our heroes. So we've got some more renown, actually. We can't buy supplies, so maybe now we can spend it. Onif. What kind of a man is Onif? A rank 1 backbiter. That's a new. Run through two tiles. The backbiter selects a target and then runs through multiple spaces to reach them, causing two armor damage to each character he runs through. He then stops behind his target and stabs them for normal strength damage. This allows the backbiter to move through both friend and foe, giving him the highest mobility of any character on the board. The backbiter is most useful when hunting down ranged or weakened enemies hiding in the back rows. We could promote Hogan. We could promote Trigvi. <laughs> Mogan is such a ladies' man. Chicks dig the scar. <laughs> yep. It's also a bit of a. I don't know. Nihilist, I guess. So who do we actually promote? We maybe we should promote Ivor actually for 15 points. Yeah, let's do it. You have a bit of a low willpower on Ivor. But we do have an item. Oh, that was a level 5 item, right? Damn. Let's just upgrade him like that. Check out the items. Could use this. Attacks are never deflected. Plus 10 chance, 10 percent chance for two times strength damage. Fifteen percent chance to dodge strength attacks is also useful. Hmm. But he's the only one who can use this, so that settles it. Huh? Anyone with rank two can use the other item. Mogan ladies man maybe. Oh we have armor as well. Can you please get out of my face so I can Yeah Wow They have to fix that inventory thing. Okay, he has armor already. Trigvi, you have your item. Who doesn't have an item? Everybody has an item. Except Oddleif. What she's gonna do with some armor. Mm, maybe Onef. What's that level 5 item you got to do? Yeah, it's pretty useful, I think. Uh, 
plus one willpower per turn and one armor per turn. Never got that one myself, yeah. It seems really good, but uh, we don't have a level 5 character in this party, so... I got it from fighting three really difficult battles outside uh, Frostweather. Battles that I didn't have to take, so... Yes, that's the reward. Nice, so I think our party is, uh, yeah, pretty nice, huh? Very poor morale. It's just that when I looked on the map, it looked like we were very close to a godstone. And that's usually a good place to rest. I think we're gonna... Continue on and see if that is a godstone. That is a godstone. We find a surprising number of people camped out at the godstone. They've been here quite a while, ever since the sun stopped. Apparently they think Radormir, the sun god, has come back. And they're worshipping him despite the bleak environment. They welcome the caravan mingling and swapping stories with the others while you rest. They have almost nothing of value to trade, but their leader approaches you, approaches and offers to let you join in their tribute. Tribute. Ask what this tribute involves. Golden Fury, says one says, showing you a golden liquid in a silver bowl. Places some on his chest, which almost sounds like it's sizzling, and explains, through clenched teeth, it's a gift from the sun god. An oil that burns like the sun and lets them see things clearly. Hello. I don't think we're gonna do that. Decline and inspect the godstone before leaving. Gonna... Nobody can really agree on what Radormir looked like, as fond as he was of his own isolation. He never directly contacted humanity. Most thinks he, Most thinks he was a serpent that lived in the sun, and it's not uncommon to hear speak of seeing the tails of a great creature slipping through the thin clouds on a sunny day. Radormir was always one of the lucky gods, kind who people thank for good weather, healthy livestock, and a good harvest. Despite all that, the biggest mystery has always been how his godstone came to be found at the bottom of a dried out lake. Hmm. After some rest you continue on. The sun god worshippers are keen to stay, so you pack your things and return to the road. Guess I should try that oil then. Snake oil. We can't camp here, so. Have to wait a little while. Okay, let's camp. So, uh. It's time for the lunch break. So, I'm gonna take uh, a 30 minute break now, and then I'll be back and we'll be going for three hours more. See how far we can get. Uh, hopefully the game is saved. <laughs> hopefully. So yeah, we'll see. But uh, I'm gonna put up a little announcement here.
So, 30 minute break, uh, and then we're going for three hours. So, I suggest you, you get a break as well. See you back after lunch. <laughs>